I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Here's a letter from the Jarl Stewart. Looks like official business. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Master Myth Idros. It is with great urgency and the utmost gratitude that I write to you and your companion. You have both proven reliable, trustworthy, and sympathetic toward the people of Windhelm, if not our cause. And your keen minds for investigation are needed once more. I urge you to return with haste, if you are able. A scout from the Reach said troubling news not long ago, and it seems he was correct. I am not at liberty to reveal in writing what we've heard or seen from soldiers returning from the Western Front. Suffice it to say, our medics have been busy. If either of you have knowledge of restoration, the Bruin of Tinctures, or Field Aid, Jarl Ulfric Stormcloak at the City of Windhelm would be grateful for your assistance. That is my official reason for contacting you in my capacity as steward. There is, however, a more pressing issue that requires attention. However, as it is so far based on rumours and nothing more substantial, Jarl Ulfric has refused to divert resources. Some of our guards claim to have seen a woman with strange war paint wandering the city. Based on descriptions, I and a few others fear she may be a forsworn agent. Given the state of unrest in the Reach, I do not want to risk that she could be here with violent intentions. If you can find her and question her, please do so quietly. Tempers and fears are both high enough in this city already. With greatest respect, your leaf. Steward to our most noble Jarl, Ulfric Stormcloak. So, I don't know who this fella is, but I keep getting his mail. First an ominous handprint, and now this. <laughs> ominous. Well, we know one thing about him besides his name. He's Dunmer, if all of these Nords keep thinking you two are the same person. Aye. And for what it's worth, I'd try to give his mail back to the carriers, but they just... Don't even worry about it, mate. Every carrier I've ever seen has been in a hurry. Bound to be a few mix-ups here and there. Least you can do is take a message for whoever it's supposed to be for. Now, what'd you say his name was again? Myth. Last name, Idros. Know of him. Actually... Yeah. Yeah, that rings a bell. I met him here, I think, up at that inn, Kendalhalf. Him and his girl, Sira. Oh, well, I don't know if they were together or just travelling together, but I can see how someone might mix the two of you up. I think I sort of did when you ran into me on the beach that one time. Ah, uh, when you called me a charred mudcrab. Ah, right, that's the one. Charred mudcrab. You two had fun while I was away. I've had much worse. So... We're at a strange crossroads, I think. Because that letter sounded... Like one I wouldn't want to get from Argel or Arnold, truth be told. Cactus, I know we said we were going to Stone Hills, but... I'm staying here. At least until I figure this out. You can go ahead if you like. What, you don't think I'm fully capable of handling some... I didn't say that. You are capable. And I'd be grateful if you stayed, but look around. Windhelm isn't exactly kind to either of our folk, but yours especially. I don't want you putting your safety on the line just because I'm being the fool again. Ah, you can take the Redoran out of the guard, but you can't take the guard out of the Redoran. Well, as long as these Nords actually let me into the city, we might as well take a look around at least. Alright, that could be interesting given the state of the docks. Although, it shouldn't take too long, right? Just checking in on some rumours, keeping an eye out for a false wall, nothing too dire. I don't know. Maybe it's just me being paranoid, but that letter read to me like... Well, I don't know what a steward is supposed to do, but it sounded like the second councillor trying very hard not to say that he's concerned about someone going after Councillor Morvane. You, uh, speaking from experience there? Not directly. But I paid attention when House Slalu made their attempts a hundred years back and Morden stopped them. I don't know what the Forsworn have against the Stormcloaks or Windhelm, 
but there's something going on here. This agent is out of her element, if there's an agent here at all. Cactus and I bend over the ridge. It's all the blasted way across the province, and the floor sworn live in the hills out there, not in the cities. That we know of. That we know of? You think this one did? Well, uh, no. Statistically speaking, she's probably from out in the hills. But I feel like one of those Forsworn Forever types would probably have been arrested by now. They aren't exactly subtle. Aye. <laughs> Goat. I've been to Markov once. Oh, well, twice, but one of those times was, uh, under the influence, shall we say. Anyway, I have a hard time seeing one of those antler-wearing bastards in the city, you know? Exactly. Cactus, you've made an important observation. What? That she... Uh, she wouldn't be a problem if the guards could catch her just like that. Which means she's probably laying low. And no city is at least well enough to disappear in one. Granted, I'm putting a lot of faith in these Nords that they know what they're doing, but... By Azura, it's good to be back. Back to what? Being in a field where I'm halfway competent. I'm working on a plan. Might need your help. Unless you're off to Riften. Eh, I'll get there when I get there. And me and Cactus make a pretty good team besides, eh mate? That would be Cactus and I, but potentially. It's Elvani is showing. Come on then. I want to get a good look at this city before nightfall. Myth? You've gone quiet again. I know. I've just remembered the letters sitting in my bag. Oh, that. I take it you're not looking forward to writing reply? An understatement. For reasons of business, at least, I probably should. But I can't help feeling like I should have done more by now. Especially around Windhelm and Riften. To say nothing of Winterhold. All of this to impress your not easily impressed father? Unfortunately. Well, what did he ask you about? I could help you draft a reply if you need. It's not as though you've been out here twiddling your thumbs and enjoying the weather. Well, I have been enjoying the weather, mostly. It's odd, having air to breathe that doesn't have ash in it. And... My dear father might have mentioned something about distractions. I would rather not let him know he was right. Distractions like saving Skyrim from a clan of power-hungry vampires? Or perhaps helping me deal with the dragons? It's more the company he would have a problem with between you and Serana. Ah, distractions. Is this your way of dancing around what he actually said? It is. I try not to be in the habit of discussing business matters around people who could hear me. I suppose... It would be going against the good rhetoric virtue of duty to conveniently forget to reply. <laughs> Good rhetoric virtue? I thought you were part of any great houses. I'm not, but Blacklight is rather crawling with people who are. It's hard to do a decent job of blending in if one doesn't know the environment. Luckily, I also have a talent for improvisation. And who are you blending in with here, given that we're surrounded by Nords? Uh, plenty of mercenaries around. But perhaps the local denizens of the Grey Quarter. I don't have their accent, but... I suppose I could try. <laughs> Maybe we 
we should go see if there's anyone we can help there. After we get the snow to Quintus and maybe check in over at the Aventus residence. <laughs> we could both procrastinate. You with your reply and me with... Uh, trying to figure out how to approach the Yarl of Whiterun about trapping a dragon in his keep. <laughs> Why, Miss Syrah? Procrastinating? You are a terrible influence on me. <laughs> what? You are supposed to be making friends here, right? It's at least a useful distraction, doing good for people who need it. Still. Miss? Do this for them, if not for your father. I'm not just doing this for him. I'm doing this for the guild that gave my father and I a leg up in the world. As short a leg as it might have been at the time. That's... Oddly noble of you, given... You haven't been the only bad influence in my life, Zira. Don't worry, it's a term of endearment coming from me. Well, now you have me curious. But I'll withhold my questions until after we see Quintus. Speaking of the greater good. Oh, watch your step. Someone dropped something under the snow there. I mean, I would watch my step, but I'd rather you watch it for me, given... Fair enough. So what do you think the chances are that Norellian is going to be less cantankerous when he recovers? If... You think it's that bad? Oh. Well, I don't know that it's not. You know... You make an excellent point, unfortunately. Let me know if you see anything you like. Well, uh, I would. I'm sure Myth will. I don't hear Norellian. That does not bode well. Um, uh, Quintus? My master can be a bit short-tempered, but I've learned so much from him. I have all the materials you requested. Thank the gods. I'll get to work on the files straight away. Right. And, I suppose, nothing for us to do but wait. I think I've a good idea where this Forsworn will turn up. If she's trying to get into the palace without being noticed, she'll be somewhere nearby, with plenty of nooks and crannies to hide in. The Grey Quarter has that, but it's also too busy. Which means she'll be here, out of the way. I'm almost certain of it. If she's used to scrambling around cliffs, she might be up on someone's roof. Aye. We'll need to keep our eyes open in that case. Cactus, you linger around here. I know it's boring, but if you have any alarm spells or anything like that, cast them. I'd like you stay down there. Keep your eyes on that passage down to the graveyard and that mana district over there. Or walk a patrol between you two. Anything happens, you'll be in shouting range. Aye aye, Silvander. I'm just a poor old woman, dear. Excuse no me. To Miss. Me. You! Wait. You're not. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you talking to me? Aye. Strange warpaint. They're tattoos, actually. Tattoos, then. Sorry to stop you like this, but... I've only seen tattoos like that in the Reach. Just wanted to know what brought you to Windelm. Oh, all of the chaos back there. I just wanted to get away. Aye, why Windelm? It's just where I ended up, sir. It's a little more homey 
the white run. White run is just, it's too open. Never been myself. Seen it from a distance, though. Where are you from? Here? Raven Rock. Where's that? Solstheim. It's an island. You have to take a boat to get there. I've heard some stories about the mainland, though. Any reason the Stormcloaks would distrust someone like you? Why do you ask? Are you a Stormcloak? No. I have no love for Nords. But I was a guard back home, and I have a knack for getting myself into trouble trying to keep the peace. What's this about, sir? I want to know what's going on between the Stormcloaks and you Forsworn. Didn't think one of yours would have any reason to come all the way out here. Just asking questions, is that right? So far, some of the folk around here might be wary of you. Believe me, they're not real welcoming of strangers. Other than the fact that you're armed to the teeth, I don't see any reason they should worry. My being armed to the teeth doesn't bother you. Of course not. It's a harsh land. As long as you don't draw your blade or bow, or use any of those vials on your thigh. I don't think anyone has a good enough reason to have a problem with you. Nords being Nords aside. You didn't stop me just to ask questions about why I'm here. You haven't given me reason to do anything else yet. And if you do, I'm not alone. Just keep that in mind. You are working for Ulfric, aren't you? <laughs> not a Stormcloak. If you're not a Stormcloak, leave me be. I've work to do. You're giving me reasons to stop asking questions, miss. What's your business in Windhelm? Leave me be, or there'll be trouble for both of us. I'll not ask again. Good. <sighs> You're here for the Jarl, aren't you? <laughs> what made you think that? The vials, the defensiveness, the fact that someone around here is worried enough to call for outside help about it. Mostly it's the fact that you looked like you were going to kill me when you turned around. I thought you were someone else. That's all. Happens all the time. But you're dodging. Again. Leave me be, sir. I won't warn you again. If I were here to do what you're suggesting, then it would be because I have nothing to lose. And someone like that wouldn't hesitate to gut you for trying to stop them. Aye, and that's why I'm still standing here. I'm too close for you to use that bow on me, and that sword of yours isn't getting past this shield, let alone the armor. Attack me, and the guards know you're a threat. And what if I don't need the sword? Unless you've got a dagger already poisoned that I've not spotted yet, I wouldn't try it. And what if I don't need a dagger either? You... Intend to fist fight a Donma man in Orcish armor. Are you mad? Well, I wouldn't call them fists exactly.
follow you. Cactus, stay with him, all right? Where are you going? I'm finding him a medic. Don't... Don't look for... For the barracks. Right, that letter said the healers were all... A check... A... Breathe, Andrethi. Potion. Focus. <laughs> Potion. Right. Hang on, soul. I'll be fine. Breathe. God, so... Cactus, you'll be alright. Got it? Get him a potion. I'll see if I can't find someone to help. Priest, maybe. Alchemist. Don't know where they'd be at a temple. Fuck's sake, I'm thinking out loud. Don't you bloody move, got it? Alright, Captain. Run, Adlug. Master, look. It's the file. What? How? It doesn't matter. Look. It's refilling with your tonic as we speak. Marvelous. Oh. <sighs> what happened? He is gone, but thanks to you, he died knowing his life's work was not in vain. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that. As am I. You acted very nobly in helping my master realize his life's work. Thank you for that. As for myself, I've always been content to simply be an alchemist. I fear keeping the file would just remind me of Norellian's obsession and how it consumed him. Here, keep it. You are as much a part of its legend now as Corral Mill was. I hope it brings you the happiness that my master desired. Now, how would you like me to align the file's properties? I'm not as skilled as Corral Mill, so I'm afraid it will only ever refill with one type of liquid. Well... Given what it was supposed to be used for, I think I'd like it to have the power of healing. And I'm sorry that I wasn't faster. I understand. Good day, friend. Keeping well? Ah, uh, as well as can be expected, I suppose. Well. It's unfortunate. Now what? Now, we go check in with... what was his name? Angrenor. And you try not to kick yourself, alright? I... I know, I just... Doesn't... oh, there's a wall there. Doesn't feel great. I, uh... I remembered where the stairs were, I just sort of forgot that they were, you know, steep. Oi, is anyone in here a... Wait, you're here? Um, is that orc from Candlearth? What was your... Captain Adlug, right? Hi, either of you two know restoration? What happened? A cold stand bloody werewolf happened. Can you or can you not? I can try. Lead the way. I'll follow your... Wait. Is it still out there? It ran out the front gate. I'll explain once I know Saul isn't going to die. Sira, do you know what you're doing? After talking to that priest and working on your arm... I have at least half an idea. Right now I'm hoping my spells will be enough. Better than nothing, which is what we've got at the moment. Nothing and questionable potions. Now come on. You're fine. Deep breaths, Andrethi. You're not supposed to be trying to calm me down. You're the one that needs help. I... Focus, son. I'm not a goner yet. Just need... Need you not to panic right now. How can you say that at a time like this? Take it easy. I'm sure it looks worse than it is. Keep me talking, Andrethi. Keep you. <laughs> How? Um, what, what can I do? Do I need to put pressure on? Doesn't matter. Just keep me talking. Helps on the way. 
Is this... Is this what Captain Velleth? When you lost your father? I... I, in a way... Kept me from giving up hope. Strange. Being helped by an Argonian instead of... Fighting them. You... The raiders were... Cactus? Adlug! Uh, who's... My name's Cyrilata. I think I can help. Where's Sol? What are you... Oh, y you are blind. He's over here. Alright, go easy on the snot, Cactus. It's gonna be alright. So, you still with us, mate? So far. Though your friend there is making me doubt that somewhat. Seeing double? Seeing... Someone. He told me to keep him talking. Is that... That's a bad sign, isn't it? As far as I've read, that's a sign that he's at least aware enough to know he's in danger of passing out, which is actually a good thing. The awareness, I mean. Can you tell me your name, Sarah? Solvonda Perrain. Ritterin Guard. Raven Rock. Command of Captain Moden Veleth. Sol, you haven't been a guard for months. Oh. How long were you with the Redoran Guard, Sarah? Eighty-six years. Hard habit to break, given the circumstances. Is he bleeding? Uh, yeah. Yeah, he is. That spell looked like it helped, but... Myth, do we have any bandages or wraps or anything from that priest that might be of use? I can check. Did he get bitten at all? I know we have a few cure disease potions lying around. I... I didn't see. Did you say... Myth? Idros? Yes, sirrah. I keep getting your mail. Good to meet you. That's... disconcerting. Have we met? Dunno. You seem familiar. Ever been to Raven Rock? No, sirrah. But I could swear I've heard your name before. Have you ever been to Blacklight? I was born there. Haven't been back. Sound like you're from there. I am. Here, yeah, Sira, this should help. Do you need me to guide you? I might need someone to do the actual bandaging. You or Atlag or... Uh, Cactus, was it? Cactus and Drethi. Oh. I thought you were Argonian. <laughs> I am. Just tell me what I need to do. You're doing fine, son. You did just fine. Here, I've got him, Cactus. Little blood never scared me. You just take it easy, alright? Uh-huh. I'll be here. I hope you'll all forgive me for saying this. But that got a little hairy. You won't off my crab if you're already cracking jokes about it. I've dragged myself back from worse. Glad I had help this time. That was... careless of me. Could have handled that better. Now that you're stable at least, can I ask what happened? What was a werewolf doing in the middle of Windhelm of all places? If I had to hazard a guess, she was here to kill the Jarl. What? So, here's what happened. Mr. Idros saw here got your mail. Letter from your leaf about a forsworn looking around. We figured we'd stake out the entrance there just in case. Didn't know you was in town or we'd have just dropped the letter with you, probably. Please, just myth is fine. Dare I ask what other letters of mine the couriers have delivered to you, Sylvander? A black handprint. No idea what it means. Ah, that was a threat long since taken care of. Don't worry. 
you're not in any danger. Why doesn't that make me feel any better? He has a knack for doing that, I'm afraid. So I take it you found the Forsworn? I questioned her. Maybe didn't handle it as well as I could have. Of all the things I expected her to do, turning into a giant red wolf wasn't on my list. <laughs> well, that should make her easy enough to track down, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say track her down? A werewolf? That did that to Sol? I did. I imagine she won't be nearly as dangerous now that she's wrung herself out, as it were. I. She also ran after you zapped her. I don't know if we scared her off or if either of us did actually hurt her, but if we do track her down, she probably won't try you again at least. And she would have gone far if she's after the Yarl. She's a forsworn. She'd have gone out to hide in the hills somewhere, I'd wager. Wait for things to calm down. Come back with a new plan, maybe. Wait, you're not thinking of coming with us, are you? I'll stay well out of her reach, don't worry. I'm not going to make that mistake a second time. Gods save us from the stubbornness of the Rittering Guard. You've been mauled, Sarah. And besides, do you have any idea how to track a werewolf? I've had worse. And no, not really. But I have ideas. Can't be much different from tracking werebears. You what? <laughs> oh yes, Solstheim has werebears. They tend to keep to themselves, though. Tend? How do you people live there? Carefully. Alright, if Sol's adamant that we do this, we might as well do this. Follow the smell of wet dog and hope for the best. Wet dog and poisons, if this Forsworn is anything like the ones we've encountered. Indeed. Wet dog, wet deer, poisons, what have you. And someone keep an eye out for paw prints that mysteriously turn into footprints. I'm sure that will be enough of a clue all on its own. Or just enormous paw prints. I think the only thing you could mistake them for would be a bear. You are one mad bastard, you know that so? Aye. I think I'm ready, if not healed. I'm open to rely on safety in numbers. There is a fine line between having someone surrounded and placing them in a target-rich environment, Sarah. A line not entirely within our control. I hope you know what you're doing. If I don't, it sure sounds like you do. No, I've travelled with him before. Not a bad shot, that one. Bit cagey around the edges, though. Oh no, a cagey bastard from Morrowind. Whatever shall we do? I like him. Now, would anyone else like to lead? Because I will if nobody... Nope, I'm on it. Follow me. She's in it. Right, little miss. Now, I don't want to hurt you, but wait. Enna? Enna? Isn't that the guide you... You! It was you I smelled in that damn city. You and your elf friend. Yes, this is the guide I hide in Morthal. You don't seem especially pleased to see me, Enna. Why would I want to see the man who slaughtered everyone at the car spire? I did have help. And I assure you it wasn't personal. Not for you, maybe. Oi! Don't. Miss Enna, you really don't want to do this. Don't Miss Enna me. The Reach has bled enough without what you did. I came here to kill the Bear of Markarth, but I guess I'll have to settle for your head instead. I told you you didn't want to do this. You forgot about me, didn't you? What I can do. May thorns sprout from your corpse. That may be the most poetic way anyone's ever called me a prick. You're quite lucky I didn't feel like pulling a blade on you. And you did get me out of rather an unfortunate spot. For that, I owe you at least a few more breaths. 
Now tell me, were you a werewolf before you saved me from that pack? Or did they turn you? Why would it matter to you? Simple curiosity. Or would you rather I ask the very honorable Sol von der Perrain if I have his permission to slit your throat? Me? I doubt he'd say yes. After all, I'm sure he has his own questions to ask. I... I wasn't. I was turned by a different pack. And that's all you get to know. See, that wasn't so hard, was it? Myth, that's enough. Leave a be. Of course. And you, Miss Senna, can have your sword back when you've learned not to threaten me with it. Understood. I should have saved the claws for you, bastard. I assure you, I've survived far worse than you. Here, you hold on to this. Right. So, uh, we're all agreed that we're not gonna kill this girl, right? Atlug is correct. We are not killing anyone, Myth. What in oblivion was all that? Where did that come from? Habit. Some habit that was. I did warn you when we met that I could be a real bastard sometimes. <sighs> that was... extremely... I know she just mauled Mr. Ferrain. I think that might be an exaggeration at this point, thanks to you. Maybe, but we don't just... You know, I don't know why I expected you not to do whatever that was. A discussion for later, perhaps. Aye, oh, and I've got at least one important question for, uh... Enna? Little Red? Who or what is the bearer of Markov? Ulfric Stormcloak. So this is an interrogation, then? I think it is, miss. I'm sorry, but I swore an oath once to protect my people. The folks of the Great Quarter might not be from Raven Rock, but they're still my people. Your people? The people living in holes in the walls of Windhelm? Aye, that's them. The refugees and descendants of refugees. If you care about them so much, you should get out of my way and let me take care of the man keeping them all under the Nord's boots. I can't do that. Just like I won't let Myth kill you. And you said you have no love for the Nords. I don't. Why do you want to do this, Enna? What do you gain? Why do you care? Because I... I'm paying a kindness forward, I suppose. Helping folks far younger than myself find their way if I can. You can't actually forgive me for what I did to you, can you? You still haven't answered my question. What are you after? Justice? Justice for every one of my people that Ulfric executed in Markarth. Justice for the peace that he broke so he could have one of his gods back while those of us who lived in the Reach for generations have been slaughtered for hours. Justice for using my homeland to bargain with the people who invaded it in the first place. I wouldn't expect any of you to understand what any of that feels like. So... Soul's honor aside, why aren't we letting her do this again? Because it would be morally reprehensible, that's why. Right, I should reintroduce myself. Cactus Andre, the retainer of House Tilvani. I don't do morals. Keep telling yourself that. We're not letting her do this because if she does, Windhelm and Lackley Skyrim will turn to chaos. Factions will split off. The Nords who are sympathetic to the Stormcloaks will look for the nearest targets to punch down at, and here, that happens to be my folk and yours, Cactus. It's not likely to make things better for anyone. Worst case, it starts a war. There's already a war here. Excuse me. She's right. Skyrim is in a tenuous position, to put it extremely lightly. I didn't know the Forsworn were part of it, too. I'll be honest, I just thought... You, Myth, and whoever you brought with you thought what everyone thinks. That all Reachmen are the same. That we're all just bandits in furs. 
I had no reason to assume otherwise, given that your people at the Carthspire camp attacked us. Technically, they attacked our friends, who, I'm certain, dropped at least one Frost Atronach on them while they were busy with that dragon. Our hands aren't exactly bloodless in this myth. Wait, hold on. Sorry, I gotta ask. You fought a dragon? Blind? Did you fight a dragon blind? Oh, well, yes, of course I did. Myth could obviously shoot at it and tell me where to aim, but... Aim? Are you shooting blind too? No. Um... Shouting. Oh dear, nobody knew I take it. Right, allow me to reintroduce myself. Hello, I'm that dragonborn people keep talking about. What? <laughs> oh no, no. <laughs> uh, no. You're right there. Ah, uh, yes, fine, just... I expected someone... Well, I can't say taller. An elf. The Greybeard's called... An elf. And you accepted their challenge. Is that what that was? I suppose I did, but I didn't exactly have a choice in the matter. I had to know what they were shouting about at the very least, and then of course there was the whole issue of why were there dragons? And what an oblivion was I doing to them? So you've aligned yourself with the Nords then, Dragonborn? That's a complicated question for me to answer. I've aligned myself mostly against various forces this whole time. Namely the Thormor, and, well, the dragons, obviously. Speaking of which... Enna, have you ever heard the phrase, the enemy of my enemy is my friend? If you want justice so badly, why not ask the Imperial Legion for... The Legion? They're no better. They're the ones who invaded our land to begin with. They're the ones who dragged their heels instead of recognizing our Madanox legitimacy, let Ulfric march into Markarth, and then thanked him for reclaiming the rage for them. I will not ever turn over my homeland to the likes of them. Not without a fight. Which I assume is what you're giving them as we speak. But outright killing Ulfric is more careless than me walking up and not realizing how much of a threat you are. You've got to know that. Do you think I care if something happens to me? No. I'm fairly certain you're on a Death of Glory mission. But I'm also fairly certain you care more about your people than you do about yourself. I know a thing or two about that. And I know you're more useful to your folk alive than you are as a corpse. Oh yeah, so? This sounds an awful lot like you're encouraging her. Eh? I'm a little concerned. What, like any of us would actually fight for the Nords? You've seen how they treat people. It's just a bit familiar for my comfort. Not all Nords are Stonecloaks, Cactus. It's a bit unfair to lump them all together. Unfair? You want to lecture me, of all people, about unfair. Fine, sure. Not all Nords are Stormcloaks. Not all High Elves are Thalmor. Not all Telvanni wizards are ambitious, pretentious, paranoid backbiters. But enough are that it makes one cautious. You see my point. What could you possibly know about the- Oi, oh, let's calm it down, shall we? I asked Mr. Ferrain a question and you two haven't given him a chance to answer yet. My apologies, Adlug. Cactus? You're not getting an apology from me. I figured. I don't know if encouraging is the word I'd use. More like persuading her not to kill Ulfric. At least not without making it clear to the rest of the Stormcloaks that idolizing the bastard as a martyr won't stand. Failing that, I'd rather persuade her to stick to defending her homeland. You know that it put her at odds with just about any one of us who happens to stroll through there, right? Aye. And as far as I can tell, she'd be well within her rights to attack us if we made trouble in her territory. You might be safe, Orc. We're all pariah in the Reach. Of course, that does depend on what you plan to do with me now that you've backed me into a corner. I will not be killed without a fight, I'll warn you. Once again, nobody's going to kill you. 
but we're also not going to let you just walk back in a wind elm. Not on my watch. That's going to be tricky to enforce. Aye. My plan is to tell Yoli if he was right and walk her back to the Reach so her people don't come after her. And after that? Who's to say she won't come back with an army of Forsworn? If she did that, it might leave the Reach undefended, which would be a very bad idea if she and her people wore to take their land back. Now, I'm not going to fight with them, obviously, and if I still... I'd still put my shield in front of the people of Windhelm, if it meant protecting them from her. But I want to know how bad it really is here. You know what I want to know, speaking of how bad the situation is? I want to know why there was a Thalmor wizard in Winterhold. They're in Skyrim for some reason. Yes, they are. Trying to keep the Empire peaceful as far as I can tell. Essentially trying to keep everything somewhat calm while they recover their forces for the next Great War. Oh, and using this province as a dumping ground for exiled Apraxics while they're at it. Or heretics, I suppose, might be a more familiar term. If you couldn't tell, I'm not exactly proud of my home country, but at least I know better than to lump someone who lives somewhere in with- Again, I'm not in the mood for lectures, Dragonborn. I'm not stupid. Now, do you know which side of this whole mess they're backing? Stormcloaks, Empire, Forsworn? I can tell you they want nothing to do with us. And if they did, they'd find out what kind of damage antler arrowheads and spear tips can do when they break off inside a wound. Goads. Well, that's a disquieting thought, isn't it? And to answer Master Andretti's question, do not call me that under any circumstances. Apologies, Miss Sarah. I work enough with House Tilvani that I don't want to risk offending your sensibilities. Muth Sarah? Uh, just... Cactus, please. Master Andrethi was... someone else. Cactus, then. For the same reason, I assume, I'd rather nobody call me Master Idros. But to answer your question, the Thalmor are here to capitalize on the chaos. Enna is in fact playing directly into their hand by giving the Empire and the Nords more to worry about, while they dig their claws more firmly into the various establishments here. This war, if you can call it that, more of a tense stalemate from what I've seen, benefits them more the longer it draws out. Myth? Where did you... Remind me to tell you what I found at that party later on. Essentially, the weaker each side becomes, the more materials they waste trying not to buckle under each other's threats, the more the Thalmor gain an upper hand, and from what I've seen back home, well, I imagine the more desperate each side becomes to find an edge, any edge, the less likely they'll be to turn down help, even from the Thalmor. Oh, you have worked with us, Tilvani. They're some of our best clients, in fact. And no, I will not tell you what my business is. After hearing that, and watching how you handled Enna, I think I can guess, Sarah. You keep your daggers to yourself, understood? Unless someone attacks me first, you have my word that I will. Oh. So I take it your occupation is obvious to someone who actually grew up in Morrowind? Seems that way. Right, I'd ask what I'm missing here, but I'm pretty sure the bigger issue is what the crap do we do about the Thalmor? That's... Uh, not good. None of what Miff says is good. Cactus, I wouldn't say I'd fight against the Stormcloak specifically, but I do have a vested interest in helping the Legion. Frankly, if it wouldn't cause so much of a headache, I'd rather walk in with Enna and end the whole damn thing before it starts. But like I keep telling you people, I am a Tilvani, and we don't shy away from little things like political vengeance. And like we keep telling you, that's a good way to throw things into even greater chaos. And possibly end with you dead in the process. Don't be careless. I said if, Sol. But since it would, I will simply keep my scales on and see what happens. But if you think I'm going to fight with the people who keep my kind on the docks, this may be where our paths diverge. Which means I very much hope that's not what you're about to suggest. You're not fooling me. 
No, I'm suggesting we go find out more about what can be done before we throw in with anyone. Anna included. The Thalmore having the hands and everything means it's all a tangled mess. I've seen what the Stormcloaks are like. I know the Legion has at least some honor, and lacking that, restraint. If I had to choose, it wouldn't be the Nords. And yet you'd still choose either of them over the Reach. Aye, for now. And you know why? Because you people are all the same? No. Because making peace with the Empire is the best way to get the rest of Tabriel, Nords included, to recognize you as your own sovereign territory. Staying quiet and not exhausting your resources sounds to me like the best way to combat the Thalmo right at the moment. Prepare now, fight later. I'm not saying fight never. You're not the first person to tell me that, actually. That I should bide my time. Oh, it's a few more months in the face of a thousand years. You got wise counsel, it sounds like. I'd listen to them, if I were you. All of this is all well and good, but let's not forget that the Empire is currently, in large part, friendly with the Thalmor. They're the ones who let them have an embassy in Skyrim in the first place. Have any of you heard of the White Gold Concordat? Let is doing an awful lot of reaching in that sentence, miss. Now, I'm not an expert in politicking or anything like that, but from what I did here, growing up in the shadows after the war ended, nobody in charge let the Thalmor do a damn thing. Both sides were in bad shape. Someone had to make compromises somewhere, and my guess is they didn't have an embassy in Skyrim until somebody got all uppity about the Talos thing. Uppity? You call someone defending their faith from being erased uppity? Aye, oh, it's the word I had on hand. I don't mean nothing by it. Sarah, we do have other things to consider. Solvonda, since you got my mail, would you kindly return it to me? I'd be happy to stay in town and tell the steward what happened, since you and your team have business elsewhere. I'd rather give you a head start so that the Stormcloaks don't chase after all of you for not simply executing Enna. Why do I feel like there's a catch? Because you know who you're talking to, I assume. But if you must know, Sira and I have a project in Windhelm that we need to check in with. And after that, well... There's the whole dragon business. Or project. She's restoring a house. I'm mostly just here for moral support and to make sure she doesn't run into new furniture. Myth. I mean, you're not wrong, but... You're a strange one, Idros. Yeah. I'll thank you for it if our paths cross again. I imagine they might. Speaking of crossing paths... This may come as an odd question, but I've just remembered where I heard your name before. Are you by chance related to an... Ashadran or... Asdoran? An Ashlander. Are you thinking of Ashadan, sirrah? That's the name, yes. Ashadan for rain. Aye. I'm his son. Why? Myth? You're right. Your mother. Was her name Tenarilarin? What are you really asking? Just answer the question. If I confirm that she was, then I will assume you are who she means when she says, My son, Azura's chosen. How do you know my mother? Perhaps we should talk about that some other. Atlek was right about you. You are a cagey little shit and I know what you are, so stop fetching around and- I'm her son. What? Rather, I'm her son too. We're both bastards, aren't we? Adlog grabbed the girl. Oh, oh, wait, so, he just... Don't you walk away from him. After something like that, it's the least. Sira. Let him go. What? You what? I wouldn't want to talk to me right about now, either. Let him go. If you're sure. Be seeing you, Miff. Sira. Come on, Gectus, this just got weird. 
Uh-huh. Yep, don't have to tell me twice. Myth? Are you alright? I can't see your face, I can't tell, but you're just... shaking. I didn't know. And he didn't... either. I didn't expect him to say yes. Do you need anything? A better question. Do you need to sit down or do you need a distraction? Both. We need to talk. About the war. About what I found at the embassy. I hate to assume, but I suspect you'll have unique and valuable insight. Let's head back then. Unless you'd rather camp out in the Middle of East, March. I might prefer that, actually, but... We need to go check in on Angrenor as well. Perhaps you can convince him to run an errand so we can talk. <laughs> Myth? People will talk. Uh, sorry. I know this is... Unexpected. Don't apologize. At the moment, I appreciate the levity. Even if I can't quite share it. Thank you, Zira. Of course. Come on then, it's been a strange day, and I suspect the strange days will only continue from here. Indeed. And let's not talk about it, shall we? I need time. I think my brother might too. Mm.